Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Assume that in pumpkins the difference in the weight is between 3 and 6 pounds is the result of 3 segregating independently genes, gene A, B and C. Each dominant allele adds half a pound to the weight of the fruit in the following cross between a plant of 3 pounds whose genotype is homozygous recessive for all 3 genes and a plant uh, of 6 pounds the genotype which is homozygous dominant for all three genes, which is the phenotype weight in the F1 generation. What is the frequencies and also determines the range of fruit weight in the offspring of these crossings, of these following uh, genotypes. So let's first talk about uh, this additive trait. And this is additive trait because every allele here adds something to phenotype. For example, uh, following genotype that is capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B and capital C. Capital C would produce phenotype that makes uh, fruits uh, that is 6 pounds. So uh, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six alleles here so this allele adds one pound this allele adds one pound this 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 and this so together would add uh, six pounds or would produce uh, fruits that weight six pound and genotype that is homozygous recessive small a small a small b small b and small c small c produce uh, plants uh, whose fruits would weigh 3 pounds. That means that each uh, allele here would stand for the half a pound. And now as you see it is clear that each dominant allele would add half a pound according to our problem and for example, recessive allele A equals to half a pound and dominant allele A equals to one pound. That means that uh, here we have extra half pound. So this allele adds extra half pound. And if we cross these two genotypes in the following generation, genotypes of the progeny are going to be capital A, small a, capital B small b and capital C small c. Once again dominant allele adds one pound, recessive allele adds one half, so one and one half, one and one half. So in F1 generation we expect that weight of the fruits would be one plus one half would be one and half plus one would be two and half plus one half would be uh, three, plus one would be four, plus one half would be four point half. So uh, we expect that F1 generation would have fruits that would weight on the average four point five uh, pounds. So this is an answer for the first question. And as for the second question, we have to find what going to be a range uh, of the minimal uh, fruit weight and maximum fruit weight if we cross uh, for example genotypes as in question A and it is easy to answer this question we just have to build a simple Punnett square for example we see that parent 1 is homozygous dominant Parent 2 is homozygous recessive. This gives us information that 100% of the progeny would be heterozygous. But as for the gene B, we see that both parents are heterozygous. That means, uh, for example, if we build a simple Punnett square and would cross two parents that is both heterozygous, we can see that in the next generation uh, following genotypes and phenotypes are possible and uh, 
genotype here equals to phenotype. For example, we are not going to have here one and second phenotype. Instead, we would have one phenotype, second phenotype, and third phenotype. Because uh, here, we, as you remember, we have one pound and one pound. Here we have one pound and one half pounds. Here we have one and one half. And here we have one half and one half. So we have here one uh, genotype and phenotype. Here is going to be second. And here is going to be the third. So this genotype would produce, uh, would add two pounds to the fruit weight. This genotype would add one and a half pounds. And this genotype would add uh, one pound. So, as you see, maximum we can get two pounds and minimum uh, one pound. So, uh, two variants are possible. So maximum would be genotype capital B, capital B. Another variant would be small b, small b. And as for the GNC, one parent is homozygous dominant, another is heterozygous. And result of such a cross can be genotype capital C, capital C, and capital C, small c. So if you would build Punnett square, you would see that only two variants are possible. So maximum we put on top, minimum we put here on the bottom. And now let's count. One pound, half pound. One, 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 one. So four, five, five point five. So uh, range would be five point five pounds and minimum we may have one pound, half, 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 one and half. So one plus one would be two, uh, and four, one half would be uh, two. So four pounds here. So this phenotype would produce four pounds. So range would be between four of pounds of the weight of the fruits. So this genotype would produce and 5.5, uh, which uh, this genotype produce. Now let's go over the second uh, variant of the cross. One parent is homozygous dominant, another is heterozygous. Once again, two variants are possible in the progeny. Uh, one would be homozygous dominant, Another would be heterozygous. So this is going to be genotypes that produce maximum weight and this uh, genotypes that produce minimum weight. And uh, as for the second allelic pair, one parent is homozygous recessive, another parent is homozygous dominant. So only one genotype is possible. And this is going to be heterozygous genotype, so capital B, small b here, and capital B, small b here. And the last allelic pair would be one parent is heterozygous, another is homozygous recessive. So uh, one variant that is possible would be capital C, small c, another minimum would be small c, small c. So this genotype would produce fruits with maximum weight and this genotype would produce fruits with minimum weight. And the range would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 would be 3, plus 1 would be 4, plus 1 half and 1 half. So here we are going to get 5 and here we are going to get 1, 1, 2, plus 4 by uh, 1 half, going to be total 4. 
so the range would be between 4 and 5 pounds and the last variant is the easiest uh, one parent is homozygous recessive another parent is homozygous dominant that means that all the progeny are going to be heterozygous and as for the second allelic pair uh, one parent so second allelic pair one parent is homozygous dominant another parent is also homozygous dominant so progeny going to be capital B capital B and the last allelic pair as you see both parents are homozygous recessive so progeny also have to be homozygous recessive so as you see no variants are here all the progeny should have the same um, phenotype and the same genotype uh, one two three so three pounds and one half one half one half so we expect that progeny would be on the average 4.5 pounds but uh, once again those this is additive trait we shouldn't expect that uh, all the progeny are going to be exactly for example 4.5 pounds uh, because uh, phenotype is uh, genotype plus environmental influence so some fluctuations are possible here but on the average we should get this number and uh, some fluctuations is possible here and here but on the average we should get 5 and 4 here so uh, you should understand that uh, if we have certain additive trait this doesn't mean that numbers are going to be uh, exact that would follow this rule because also we have environmental influence but on the average we can say that for example this genotype would produce uh, plants with uh, bigger uh, fruits than this genotype and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye